Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it. 7th grade unit 2 lesson 4 proportional relationships and equations number one a certain ceiling is made up of tiles every square meter of ceiling requires 10 and 75 hundredths tiles or 10.75 tiles fill in the table with the missing values outlined in red you can see that every square meter of ceiling tile requires 10.75 tiles that's almost 11 tiles. So one square meter of ceiling requires 10.75 tiles. Multiply the one times 10 to get 10 square meters and multiply 10.75 times 10 to get 107 and 5 tenths tiles. That's 10 times bigger than 10.75. So for every 10 square meters of ceiling, you would need 107 and a half ceiling tiles. To find out how many square meters of ceiling would hold 100 tiles, we need to divide 100 by 10 and 75 hundredths, and that's approximately 9.3, or 9 and 3 tenths. So for 9 and 3 tenths square meters of ceiling, it would take approximately 100 ceiling tiles. Since the constant of proportionality is the square meters of ceiling times 10 and 75 hundredths, then A times 10 and 75 hundredths would equal the number of tiles needed for A, the unknown square meters of ceiling. Number two, on a flight from New York to London, an airplane travels at a constant speed. An equation relating to the distance traveled in miles, D, to the number of hours flying, T, is T equals one over 500 times distance, or T equals one five hundredths d how long will it take the airplane to travel 800 miles this equation means that the time the trip will take would be equal to one five hundredth of the distance traveled since the distance traveled is 800 miles the time would be one five hundredth of 800 miles and that's the same as 800 divided by 500 800 divided by 500 equals 1 and 6 tenths. It will take the airplane 1 and 6 tenths hours to travel 800 miles. Number 3. Each table represents a proportional relationship. For each, find the constant of proportionality and write an equation that represents the relationship. The constant of proportionality for this first table would be P divided by S or in the case of the top row, it would be eight divided by two. Eight divided by two is four. The constant of proportionality is four. We can test this out. The constant of proportionality times S equals P. Four times two equals eight. We can show this relationship for all the values in the table. Four times three is 12, four times five is 20, and four times 10 is 40. To write an equation that represents the relationship, we can substitute these terms with the variable s, and substitute these terms with the variable p. The equation reads four times s equals p, or four s equals p. Four s equals p can also be written as p equals four s. For the table on the right, we need to find the constant of proportionality, and we need to write an equation to represent the value of C. C divided by D would tell us the constant of proportionality. 6 and 28 hundredths divided by 2 equals 3 and 14 hundredths. So the constant of proportionality is 3.14. We divided 6.28 by 2, to get 3.14. Now we have to divide two by two, and that gives us one. So when the value for D is one, the value for C is 3.14. So the equation would read C equals 3.14 times D, which is the same as C equals 3.14 D. 
Number four, a map of Colorado says the scale is one inch to 20 miles or one to 1,267,200. Are these two ways of reporting the scale the same? Explain your reasoning. Sure they are, and let me try to explain why. They started out by saying that the scale is one inch to 20 miles, and I already know that there are 12 inches to one foot. And I looked it up and discovered that there are 5,280 feet to every mile. We can multiply 5,280 feet times 12 to find out how many inches would be in one mile. So there's 63,360 inches in one mile. Now all we have to do is multiply one mile times 20 to get 20 miles and multiply 63,360 inches times 20 and we discovered that there's 1,267,200 inches in 20 miles. So to say that the scale is 1 inch to 20 miles or 1 to 1,267,200, 1, either one would be correct, so they are the same. Number 5. Here is a polygon on a grid. A. Draw a scaled copy of the polygon using a scale factor of 3. Label the copy A. Using a scale factor of 3 would mean that all the side lengths of the copy would be 3 times longer than the side lengths of the original figure. This red side length on the original figure is 2 units long, and the side length on the copy would be 2 times 3 or 6 units long. I'll repeat this process for each line of the original figure, making the side lengths on the copy 3 times longer. Here's a look at the scaled copy with the scale factor of 3, labeled A. B. Draw a scaled copy of the polygon with a scale factor of 1 half. Label it B. This time the side lengths of the scaled copy will be exactly 1 half the length of the original figure. Here's a look at the scaled copy with the scale factor of 1 half, labeled B. C. Is polygon A a scaled copy of polygon B? If so, what is the scale factor that takes B to A? Figure A can be considered a scale copy of figure B because all the side lengths on figure A are exactly six times longer than all the side lengths on figure B. The scale factor is six. Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.